What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Forza Horizon 4 staring at the back end of that NOS Jinx 370Z of Chris Forsberg. We're going to be hitting the road with it today, seeing how it drives. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all which you found in the description box below. Uh, okay, break the internet. Mention me and tell it freeze. I'm coming back, so be or be pretending like I never leave. I gotta eat, that's what they mean by check the feed. Like the gram, tell a friend to tell a friend to check for me. Check the tweet, block it out. Going live is like a genie. You know they say you made it big if your face is on a meme. So we did unlock Chris Forsberg's 370. We're gonna take it for a rip here today. Oh, there we go. So first initial impression of the car. The thing just insanely goes sideways real quick. Has the power for days and the angle to save it. And I can still drift in Forza. Because I was very concerned coming back here to Horizon if I was actually going to be able to throw down with this car. Or if I was just going to be all over the place like that. Sorry, Chris. We almost wrecked Chris's car because Horizon 4 definitely totally different than what I'm used to in a set of Corsa. Do this little Essing Mountain part of the mainlands. We might switch up and go to Fortune Island and hit this thing on the mountain road and see how we can do in that. But we're, uh,. We're getting it with this car. Actually, oh, quite impressed with it. If you guys watched FD this weekend, Forsberg had a bit of a, um, a rough run in the first round, or technically round three. So, was able to get the car somewhat back into running conditions. So, it's so awesome for me to see more FD cars coming here in Horizon 4 because, well, you guys know the love of FD is real. So we're going to switch it up. Oh, no, I didn't want to hit that button. Oh, wait, I'm trying to... <laughs> we're not talking about that. We're trying to hit it like we're on a set. Oh, there we go. So we got that nice dash black magic fast orange on the window. The interior of the car does look pretty awesome and cool. Lock it up hard. We got that drift camera going here in Forsberg's car. Oh, no. Definitely very different than head motion in a set of course that uh, this whole, you know, not being able to go see full lock is definitely very annoying for me in first person. Got that race service logo on the opposite side of the window, which I just now noticed. Wrong button again. So we're going to go back into third person. Going to rip this city streets a little bit. So I was quite impressed with how easy it was to acquire Chris Forsberg's car with the three races that you had to do in Nissan class was highly skilled so getting this car was actually not too difficult I was actually surprised normally these cars are somewhat difficult to get the steering ratio in these cars are so quick that it's uh, definitely taking a minute to get used to let me try this drift zone up here kind of just flat footing it full throttle a little bit of left for break there. Oh, no. You your destination. Almost lost it, but we managed to hold the car. Not our best run through there. We've had much higher before. So we're going to run this back up that SE road. And then we're probably going to hit up the mountain roads in the other expansion. We just took out all the bricks. Sorry, Chris. And see how we can do with the car on a mountain road. This car has so much power. It's just clutch kick, throw it in. Oh, so you run out of power like that and you go all over. Definitely very different being back here in Horizon 4 from running a setup so much. I mean, 
that Volkswagen didn't need that bumper. But it is fun to be back here on Forza Horizon 4. If you guys want to see more on Horizon, make sure you guys let me know down in the comments. Make sure you tap and like and subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate the support. If you guys want to help support the channel, all you can do is subscribe. Maybe hit that bell notification to be part of the notification gang. I don't know how we, we saved that, but we did. The car, once you get it in angle and got to get it into the right spot, kind of just sticks. And there's not much correction needed. You have arrived at your destination. So we are going to go take a look at the other expansion. We're going to go, obviously, to the mountain roads. And we're going to see what we can do with this car in Fortune Island. So I'll met, meet you guys back. Once we uh, load in Fort Channel, which shouldn't be too long, actually, now that I think about it. No. So, we're going to travel here to Fortune Island. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long to load in. So, Forza Horizon 4, definitely a fun game. Definitely very different on a wheel compared to what I'm used to. So, going to be getting a little bit back into it. Like I said, with the FD cars and everything coming back more and more to the game. It's definitely super incredible. So... If you guys have this car, let me know what you guys did to tune it. How do you change it to make it handle better? We're already here. Love how fast the PC does load. We're going to rip it up this way. The detail on this car is incredible with everything and I, you know, my love for Z's. So definitely going to be thinking about getting this car in a set of Corsa too. So we're going to go hit up the mountain road. Looks like we got a bunch of people already up on the mountain roads. So we're going to go see what we can do in this FDZ. Alright, let's do it. There we go. Thought I was going to biff that there. Long handbrake drag there. Longer than I wanted it to be. Clutch kick that one. Over rotate. But was able to save it because this car has angle for days. Downhill part is going to be what's going to be the fun part. But we're managing to uh, get kind of a flowy line through here. Gonna have to handbrake that one a little bit. So we don't go too far off course. Fourth gear is definitely the money gear with this car right now. Wish we would have dragged that one out longer and got more points, but... Manage this hill section. Slow it slows down a little bit, clutch kicking it. Catching up to somebody else who's running the uphill. Not a bad run for the first time back here on Horizon 4 in a very long time. On the wheel. Oh. We went the wrong way. But we managed to hold it. That dude is off course too. Looks like he's in JTP's FD Mustang. Got a little FD. Tandem's going on up here. So not our best run. I believe our best run is up in the 400s. 288,000 for the first run with Forsberg's car. Not terrible. Yeah, 460 is our best. So we're going to flip it around. We're going to go downhill. We're probably going to catch up to this Mustang in our downhill run. Oh, he missed the entry, so. Gotta tune the brakes on this car. The car's brakes don't really work too well with left foot braking. So I'm gonna have to uh, fine tune the brake bias and stuff on the car. So let me know in the comments how you guys, what did you change anything to this car to make it handle better? Did you leave it how it was? Because out of the box, this car is uh, really good, actually.
flick it around there. Uh, I should have stayed more an angle there. Shifting the fist and trying. Oh, no. I was trying to link all of that. That did not happen. That's it. Go back in. Clutch can't get back in this. Ooh, that bump kind of took me off guard. And it could just be the accelerated steering ratio that I gotta definitely get used to. We may bring one of my uh, cars that I'm very used to driving here in Horizon out to run one run uphill and see if it is that different. And maybe uh, we could just tune up Chris's car and get it to uh, be that dominant car that I know it could be. But I mean, in the 300s. So it's 333, so let's pull out one car that I know is tuned, and we will see how we do with that. Nope, no, don't go to festival. My cars, we just want to go to, where's BMW? I passed it. BMW M4. We're going to take the M4 up in the mountain, see what we can do in the M4. This car I know is depth is tuned to my liking from when last time I drove it, so let's see what we can do. Doesn't have as much angle as the 350 though. The wheel feels a lot different. I don't think it's on gri as grippy of tires either. Nice and smooth. Yeah, it's not as twitchy when it comes to steering ratio and everything like that. And it's probably because it doesn't have as fast of a steering ratio as Chris Forsberg's car does. And I think this car is a little more dialed for me, so we're going to have to do some tuning to Chris Forsberg Z to get it to possibly handle how I like it, because this car, as you can see, is just kind of floating where I want it to. So back here on Forza Horizon 4, like I said, if you guys want to keep seeing more, make sure you guys let me know down in the comments. Don't lose it because I'm definitely having a blast being back here on these mountain roads. There we go. Yeah, definitely a much more settled car. May have to get back into doing some serious drifting here on Horizon 4. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. And as always, like, thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Okay, break the internet, mention me and tell it freeze. I'm coming back, so be or be pretending like I never leave. I gotta eat, that's what the
they mean by check the feed. Like 